or you wanting to uh, take a load tonight or just whenever. Yeah, I looked at my schedule and that is yes. Okay, um, go to post truck real quick. I'll set one up with you. And we're going to put it at 600. We're just going to see if you get a load tonight. So, okay. So we know that Rialto, see the radius there. That the radius is, I think 100 is the most it'll let you. Yeah. So you'll have to do your origin. You'll have to do a city closer to San Diego or just do San Diego. Um, but if you do San Diego, you'll want to change it down to 25 uh, radius around that so you don't get any loads other than there. So go ahead and do that. Because, I mean, obviously you've seen there's nothing around Rialto, right? Like two loads paying trash. So I don't know who keeps trying to call me. Okay, we'll change the radius down to 25, and we'll do, that looks like a good city. Now you can add more than one city if you want, or you can just leave it like it is for this first trial, just to see if you get anything. Uh, make sure Elmont is checkmarked. Click it. Yep, city. And then click destination. Can I change the city? You can change the city. Uh, change it to a city that you want to end up around. So it's checkmarked. Now you can also do another city. It doesn't just have to be that one. So to increase your bubble, um, hopefully I explained this right, I would have one around Lexington and then down south more than Lexington, I would have one in Corbin, Kentucky. So the bubble was like this, right? So I have more opportunity, if that makes sense, to get loads you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that. You can just try one city right now, but you can, I believe, have up to three. So, unless they've changed it. Um, 50 mile radius. Okay. So, we'll do start date. Okay, we'll click Monday. And click start time. Okay, so... 11 what time are you looking to pick up um 10 p.m okay so click start time and set it for um uh, do nine o'clock i always try to give it an hour before actually no do do 8 30 and this is something you might have to play with because well the way amazon works it tries to get the loads booked you know with plenty of time to get to the facility. So will you have time to drive 100 miles? Because I know for me, that's an hour 45 minutes. So you, it, it was usually an hour 45 minutes. So if you're looking to pick up at 10, you need to schedule, have your start time to be earlier than that, just in case. So, but we'll try this for now, just do uh, 8.30. Um, do in, end date. Because if you if you don't set an end date, it's going to going to be indefinite. Do end date and do the sixteenth, and then end time, and we'll do. I always give them a little bit more time because their times are actually off. I mean, they've had runs say pick up at twelve deliver at eight and I've got done at like four in the morning before you know what I'm saying so um I would do something like nine or ten not saying that you're going to end at that time but the way that their loads work they think that I don't know how they calculate their time but it's always off it's never accurate all right, nine o'clock, and now minimum stem time. Click that right there. So what this is is the amount of time you need to drive up to the facility. Um, I would pick an hour thirty because you'll get a better rate, and it's usually okay because that's what I did, and it usually took me an hour forty-five to two hours to get there. I mean, you can do two hours if you want to, just be safe. But I usually did actually went an hour 30 and then I would usually go down to an hour because um, I would call ROC if I was going to be late for a load and I was like can you update the pickup time and they would push the pickup time back because I was like I just got the post truck order yada yada and they'll usually correct that for you 
Uh, but hour 30 is what I did. Uh, max stops. Do you care how many stops you do? Um, if you don't, I'll just leave it at any. Solo. Click load type. Yeah, you want live. You're on semi. Okay, that's right. Required 26. Minimum payout. So this is most important. Not, yeah. Let's do minimum payout. Let's do 600 this first night. See what you get. See if you get one. You know, just trial run. You may or may not get a load of that. Um, and you can watch the low boards if you want to. Um, but you can try 600 tonight. See what you get during this non-peak uh, time. You just hit submit. So now once you hit submit, this will be active, right? And be prepared to get a load. If you don't get a load, that's, you know, it's all good. They will not schedule a load if there's not enough time to end by 9 o'clock. So if a load pops up at 3 o'clock in the morning and they estimate that it'll take till 9.30, you won't get that load. So that's important to know why you may want to push out your end time. If they have a load starting at 4 o'clock in the morning and ending at, they say it ends at 9.30, you won't get that load either. But that's kind of how the start and end times work. It's not saying what time you're willing to start and what time you're willing to work till. It's just to get the filters to match the load postings that they post and the times that they think that they'll take to end by. Um, but I mean that once you submit this, you'll be good to go. Uh, the load after this, and you might want to save the, these filters um, after the end time is up, like let's say nine o'clock passes, this post truck order will be gone. So you don't have to worry about it bugging anything else. But once you submit this, can I cancel before loads pop up? It's close to hours. Yeah, um, you should be able. To, okay. Um, like I said, if you get the posting, it's like, well, it, you know, I might be a little late, blah, blah, blah. Um, you, just to be safe, you can put two hours um, if you want to, if you feel uncomfortable with that. But I did hour 30, and it took me an hour 45 to two hours, depending on traffic. Can I cancel before loads pop up? Yeah, if it gets close to, let's say, let's say um, you get to... 9 or 10 o'clock in the evening, you're like, you know what, I don't want to take a load tonight. And you go to your post truck and you delete the order. That's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and submit this. You shouldn't get a load, <laughs> but if you do, that's crazy. Um, go ahead and submit it, and I'll show you the screen after. So, oh, trip distance. Click uh, trip list. The, this used to not be required. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do max miles. <sighs> do whatever you're comfortable with. I would put it at probably like 200 just to get every load in there. If you don't want to drive, you know, whatever. See, it's, it's giving you match lookout. You have high potential to get a load based on six past weeks. So you have a high likelihood of getting a load tonight. <laughs> just keep that in mind. At $600. <clears throat> And if they match your minimum payout, odds are, usually, I think the last update they, they did um, for 2022 was if it matches and you have $600, you'll get $650 or a little incentive after that. Some kind of incentive, like $680 or something like that. But, you know, if you don't want to do that, you can try typing in $150 to see uh, what the match outlook is. But just for your first load, uh, it looks like most loads aren't going to be over like $170, $180. But this includes all mileage between drops. Um, it includes all the mileage from the pickup to every drop. So, and a lot of times the mileage isn't correct. So keep that in mind as well. Um, go ahead and can I save this search for? Public? Yes, you can. Yeah, uh, save this search. Click that. <laughs> And then you can title it something like San Diego Test 1 600 or something. You know, that's kind of what I did. I had different tests. <clears throat> and then once I found one that working, I would rename it to 
the one, you know. <laughs> Alright, that looks good. Go ahead and submit. Alright, and it's showing you that they'll automatically book it if it meets your parameters. And you can confirm it. Alright, now scroll down. You'll see there that you have an open order. Now, you'll click under the action, little three dots, if you you know it gets closer and closer to time and you don't feel like taking a load tonight you click three dots next to the action underneath and you can delete it right there you would hit cancel honestly you can you can cancel right now and then remake it if you want to just test it out you can also duplicate it and change so you can duplicate it and then you can edit it and change the dates to the just change it from 815 to 816 to 816 to 817 yada yada so that's another way to quickly do stuff. Um, you can edit it, you can cancel it, whatever you want to do. If you want to cancel right now, you can. I don't, it, it doesn't impact you. Um, and then you can resubmit it, or you can just leave it. But that's kind of how you after you post. So edit changes the date available. What do you mean? Um, so let's say um, you didn't feel like taking a load night, but you didn't want to cancel the order. Um, you could edit it and change the dates to the next day if you wanted to, or if something came up or something like that. Um, but <clears throat> I can't click on the job and see the details. Can't click on the job and see the details. So the the poster truck order, until it gets matched, you're not going to have where you're going to be dropping off yet because you're not the work idea is just like if you're submitting something to support or something like that like it's not there you don't have a match yet right once your filters once your work type the origin the destination the trim length and the payout and the required 26 foot matches a load posting on the load board you're not going to know where it's going it will go within your filters though but you're not going to be able to see, oh, it's dropping off at this post out, this post out, this post office, because it hasn't been fulfilled yet. You just have an open order to have relay their system match you with a load that meets your parameters. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can't click on the job because there is no details. Does that make sense? There is no, there, there's no detail. This is your work order, work order, post truck order that you put in to get matched by a. Uh, posting that gets posted to the low board so the trip length will be the max amount of total miles for the trip including deadhead no the trip length will be the total miles from pickup to each drop all the way to the last drop so if you want to go back to the low board real quick and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about so you see how it says on that first load there 116 miles that's what you're filter is going to filter like that mile count right there and that's just from pickup to the drop-offs that's not including driving to the pickup that's not including driving from the last post office to home it's it's this that's the filter that you're wanting is the miles that's on the load that they have posted yeah so I would have to calculate another 100 miles for dead ed yep 110 miles for dead ed that's right so that's just something you would keep in mind like you wouldn't put that in your your miles filters but you would keep that in mind that you have a chance to get a 200 mile load but you need to add on 100 for deadhead and then say El Monte is your hometown <clears throat> at least 50 miles after that possibility there's a possibility it could be 50 miles away from your parking location right so that'd be 100, 160 miles deadhead added so you may need to up your payout minimum um but it's never going to include deadhead i mean nobody does uh, even dat like they're not gonna you know post truck all post truck is is just a way to have amazon automatically book something if it matches your parameters that you put in um with the lows that they post in the next one, two, three, so in about three months, you're really going to start seeing rates pop, you know, go off and uh, for relay runs. And um, I'll try to get DAT stuff worked out so uh, you can hopefully get 
some sort of discount on that. I'm gonna call them too in a few and see what they say about it. But other than that, man, I mean, hopefully it works out. Uh, if you don't get a load tonight, maybe lower it 50 bucks. <clears throat> but off of the match stuff, it said that you have a high likelihood of doing so. And if you get a load every single night with a $600, if you're getting loads every night, if you're putting your minimum payout at $600, start upping it $50. Like, say you get a load tonight at $600. My dog is snorting. Up it to $650. And if you keep getting loads every night, up it to $700 until you don't get a load or you, you know, you don't get a load and then you maybe you, you fine tune it you know what I mean it's it's trial and error you you get that tuned in and dialed in you pretty much know you can get a six hundred eighty dollar load every night so then you start setting it at six hundred eighty you know what I'm saying or six fifty um, but that's all I really got uh, if you come up with any more questions or anything just send me an email um, but this was uh, I feel like it was a really good one on one Got a lot of stuff uh, gone over, and uh, I made it through without dying. <laughs>